everyone welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for the support this past means a lot i am destiny also known as destiny meets world so with my channels you probably have already seen i am covering my journey to becoming a flight attendant as well as i'm going to be covering lifestyle vlogs uh food there's a whole bunch of stuff that i have planned for my channel that i'm really excited to uh, start and kicking this off so it really means a lot today's video covering continuing i guess i could call this a mini series we're continuing on for uh, aspiring flight attendants, excuse me. For those of you that are looking currently for the right airline and where you see yourself again, remember that's the mindset you wanna continue on where you see yourself, um, what airlines that you find fit for you. So I do have some beautiful notes right here in this lovely notebook. I did do my research for all of you just to help ease because I know in my video prior to this, I did say, you know, definitely do that research. I know research takes time and we're all busy. We have busy lives. There's things that we have to do, our actual jobs, you know, school if you're in college. So trust me, I know that we don't always have the five, 10 minutes to sit down and actually do a lot of research when there's just so much information, right? So just to go on a few basic airlines. Um, I'm going to mention JetBlue. Delta, American Airlines, I definitely am going to cover um, Frontier, and also Meth Southwest. So just jumping in, the main question that you're probably asking yourself is where do I fit in? When you begin your research, like I mentioned before, you want to give yourself at least a top five, top three airlines that you would like to work for. Of Definitely, of course, start putting out as many applications as you can, but you definitely want to start narrowing down those choices just to make the process easier for yourself so you're not overwhelmed and you're not stressed. So starting off, we will talk a little bit about the face-to-face uh, -face process. So the face-to-face -face process is um, you'll see F2F a lot if you're doing a lot of research, if you're in the process, which means face to face. Uh, that is usually the final step and last process of the whole hiring and application process. When you reach this point, whether you make it or not, definitely feel proud, feel accomplished, and know that you have made it through one of the hardest parts in this industry. Uh, there's at least two hard parts. There's the actual hiring and application, the interviews, all that fun stuff, and then the training. If you can make it through the first half, trust me, you can make it through the second half. That's where I'm slowly leading um, myself into. I'll start training in March. So I'm, you know, mentally preparing for the best, but also the worst. Is the face to face, when you make it to that point, you have already accomplished a really big part. And, you know, again, whether or not you make it, don't feel too discouraged. Actually, if anything, it should push you to make it through the next time if you reapply to that airline or if you go through another face-to-face -face process with a completely different airline, which is totally fine and okay. A lot of people don't make it with one airline. They jump to another, you know, on with the next. Thank you, Ned. Did uh, I didn't make it with American Airlines and within a year, now here I am and I start training for Frontier in March. So really exciting. Um, you might be wondering what airlines fly me out to the face-to-face. -face. A lot of us applying, going into this career, you may not have a lot of money like myself, you may not be rich, and everybody knows in the aviation industry you're not gonna be the richest person on the planet, but you're definitely gonna be financially comfortable for some once you make it in and you make you know a certain set amount of years with that company. So you'll definitely start to see the reward as you start out and into the following years, depending on how long you stay with the company. But you're probably wondering, do I have to cover this flight? What if I get this offer, but I don't have the money? Some of you might be smart and you might be saving money. I didn't do that personally. And again, this is why I say that this whole process is a gamble because you're investing time in an airline as well as the airlines investing time in you. So nobody really knows the end result, right? So you're going into it. Me personally, I didn't see the sense in saving up money. Also because I did my research and I knew, okay, this airline is gonna fly me out. I don't have to cover the full fare or the cost round trip for a flight to DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, back to Orlando, MCO. So with that in mind, you know, I thought I really don't need to start saving until I actually get it. Cause that's the kind of person I am. Don't get me wrong. I like to save my money, but if I'm in a position like this where I know I'm not in it yet, it's like, 
what am I saving the money for, you know? So until I actually get something as big as this, then I'll start like, okay, I need to start mentally preparing. Like I've already started buying some small things for training and then um, I'm gonna buy luggage soon. So in that sense, that's the kind of person that I am. Like I start to get even more motivated as it becomes real and I'm like, okay, this is game time. So with the face-to-face, -face, um, I will say the airlines that do fly you out just to cover, it is Frontier Airlines, they do cover your full trip. That does cover the cost of your carry-on and luggage round trip. Delta covers uh, the price for the uh, flight, so flying you out, they do cover that for you. American Airlines also flies you out, that is fully covered for the trip. Might be curious. Now, the ones that don't pay flying you out for your face-to-face -face interview, I know for sure is definitely JetBlue. There's another low-cost carrier and a big commercial airline I don't remember off the top of my head, but if you guys want to know, I can put that down in the description or feel free to comment, message me, you have my social media as well, and I will we'll be more than happy to answer your questions. So again, the airlines that do pay for your flight to your face-to-face -face interview is Delta, Frontier, and American Airlines, that is covered. Um, now, each airline is different when it comes to the actual training. We'll cover that as well in this video on who pays during training, who doesn't pay, how much time you have after training to relocate to your base, things like that. Again, I'm hoping with this video to kind of take away the time for you that you would have to be researching and studying these airlines. Of course, you definitely want to do that so you know who you're applying for and again if you get asked certain questions during your interview well what do you know about delta what do you know about JetBlue? that's when you okay well you know for my research ding, 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 you know you can put in those things that you've researched or taken notes on so that's where that's helpful for for the training process just to cover now i will say a lot of research that i've seen and what i to my understanding is some airlines pay by per diem. Per diem means that you're being paid whatever amount of money my airline pays $1.90 per diem. And per diem is um, an additional um, allowance, I guess you could say, that you receive in addition to getting your flight hours, your flight time, and that's your money that's going to your check. You also receive that per diem. And the per diem is for being away for your base. So any personal things that you might have to buy, food, toiletries, that's where these um, big companies add in this per diem amount to kind of cover those expenses when you're far away from home and things like that. So again, my airline pays $1.90 per diem. Now this per diem amount, whatever it is for a certain airline, they may or may not have that allowance or they, that might be your hourly pay during training. For example, Frontier does pay the $1.90 per diem for training and I have confirmed that is on a 24 seven clock. So you're being paid for literally every minute that you are there. I've definitely confirmed uh, which is a shock to me a good surprise uh, because I to my understanding it was gonna be 10 hours a day six seven days a week of training three weeks so you receive one check about midway through training and then you receive your final check the last day of training so the day of graduation when you receive your wings uh, that is when you receive that final check so Frontier does pay the dollar ninety during training that's a per diem 24 7 so the whole time that you're there you are being paid however frontier does not cover your expenses for food and any personal expenses only the only things that are covered they do fly you out for training so if you're flying out of orlando uh, for example you might be living in denver they're gonna fly you from denver to orlando for those three weeks of training i thankfully live in the orlando area so they are still going to cover the hotel for me um, they want the reason for that being is they want their candidates to be able to network to be able to be there the full three weeks you know 24 7 to dedicate that time for studying to you know get study buddies and really again to just build that network and connection with others so that way you get the full and immersive experience of training so you're not distracted by your normal day life you know back home so that's that was nice to hear I'm looking forward to it. I will be in Orlando. They do tend to split classes if they're too large. So some might actually train in Denver, whereas some will train here in Orlando. But fingers crossed that I stay in Orlando because <laughs> my mom can bring me food.
so yeah that's another thing i have to prepare for but they do cover lodging uh, the hotel and they do cover your flight coming out for training but they do not cover food i think somebody mentioned that one of the training days they give you free food not sure if that's breakfast lunch or dinner so this is where money you know you want to start saving money because all so far there isn't an airline that covers you know point a to point c they might have two of three things that they may offer you during training to you know alleviate some expenses but i haven't seen yet an airline that covers literally everything i want to help you um, i want to help you and i want you to be able to not stress and i want you to know who's right for you where you see yourself so this is why um, this video is in place because i want to help those so that way you can kind of understand and see you know and do your research and kind of think okay then this is who i want to work for uh, so we've covered Frontier. Delta does also fly you out for not only the face-to-face, -face, but they do fly you out for training. Training is about six weeks, six to eight weeks. Yeah, so about, about six to eight weeks. Please don't quote me. Again, this is where research is helpful. <laughs> I clearly can miss some things, and if I did miss anything, I apologize. But with the information that you have so far, that'll hopefully it'll motivate you to get more inside information. So with Delta, they do fly you out and they do pay during training. I do not know on whether it is per DM. I think that they just pay you hourly for the time that you're there during training. And I think that would be hourly as in like if you were incurring flight time and definitely do your research on delta um, but i can confirm that they do pay during training and they cover lodging as far as food not too sure on that i didn't get um in inside information just yet on that uh, but i can confirm that it is paid um, so at least the good thing is for those of us that are leaving jobs back home you know you're you don't have to stress too much on those bills and the other responsibilities that you have because for the time that you're there you're being paid right so at least you know that could take away one one thing of stress away you know why not you don't want to be stressed while you're training kind of want to put away the outside world you're gonna have to put away you know your life at home just for those you know three to six eight weeks because it's gonna be really intense and your life is gonna center around the airline and all that information that you're receiving so definitely you know we have to mentally prepare for that financially as well but that's why this is a good thing that they pay um, another airline that covers your flight to training but does not pay is American Airlines. When I went a year ago, they did confirm those six weeks of training. They do not pay you at all. If stipend pay, you don't get any per diem. You don't get any hourly. You are there, to my understanding, for free. This was kind of a downfall and a major con for me. And this is where eventually, as disappointed as I was, I was glad that I did not make it with American Airlines because realistically, I don't have the time or money to be flown out somewhere, spend an entire month and receive nothing at all. And then on top of that, American gives you about five days to relocate to your home base, wherever you may be based. So again, this is where that gamble comes in because they might base you somewhere that you've never lived before and you might not get your base that you want, even though you give them a preference of your top three bases, uh, whether that's MCO, DFW, or JFK, you may not get one of those three, you may not get them at all and be based somewhere else because it is based on operational needs, but that's something that they always communicate at the beginning of the application process. And I don't say this to scare you, I just say this to be realistic and to let you know. And then also for myself, I already know going in, I may or may not get Orlando. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, but this is where other things come in like crash pads, which I'll cover in my next video. Any money helps as well, but American does not pay. And they give you about five days to relocate to your base. So. I don't know how people survive and make it through American. They do, and kudos to them. I'm assuming they probably have been saving up money months or years prior to getting the job and starting training, or there might be the lucky ones that don't have a lot of bills or responsibilities at home. Again, everybody's life is different. You have a different story, a purpose. So I don't really know how these people survive. Percy, for myself, I know I wouldn't survive. Having an apartment now, bills don't stop. So, that's something you have to keep in mind they do fly you out for training american does cover lodging and food so at least there's half of an expense covered but me personally having a roof over my head and food 
those are good things don't get me wrong but i would rather be getting paid so maybe like getting paid and having the hotel and then i cover food you know things like that just to kind of like level it out i don't know why american doesn't pay and they may have changed things again this was a year ago and i'm sure for some of you you may not find that american might be a good fit for you so this is why we're covering all of this um now with Mesa Airlines, I confirm they do provide housing. They do provide housing with a roommate. Um, pros and cons to that. Frontier, I think we all get our own hotel room, so I'm happy about that. Uh, United Airlines pays per diem during training, and they do offer a sign-on bonus if you make training, so that's nice. So I guess that means basically once you successfully complete training and you make it to graduation and you get your wings, you do receive a sign-on bonus. Don't know how much money that is, but hey, that's extra money that you get for completing, right? US Airlines, they do provide housing and food, um, or a, rather a food card, and you receive a stipend upon graduation. So you'll receive a certain amount of money for the time that you were there. Not sure exactly how stipends are calculated or accumulated during training. So again, some of you might have to do your research in detail on that, but the good thing is they do provide pay. Uh, Republic Airlines, they are a subsidiary of American Airlines. They do pay per diem and provide housing during training. So that is a little interesting to me how being a subsidiary of American, they pay, but American Airlines themselves doesn't pay. Again, this is where all this research comes in and it's pretty helpful. With this video, if you guys have any more questions, I'm still doing more research for all of you on your behalf. If you have any questions at all in the meantime, please feel free to message me. You have my social media. I hope that this video helped. I know I didn't list every airline there is out in the world, international or US based, uh, but I really just tried to cover the main major airlines here in the United States and some low cost carriers as well. Don't be afraid to apply or go through with low cost carriers because you're still getting that experience. That's why I'm grateful to be with Frontier. You know, you might be lucky enough to make it with a major airline, but definitely do your research and where you see yourself. That's really, really important because if you go, you know, really far with an airline and you just don't agree with maybe the values or you're finding more cons than pros, this is where stuff like this comes into place and this will help you again to lead you all on the right path. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was fun for me to be able to list some stuff for you guys. Sorry that I was looking down a lot. I just had everything in my notes and I didn't want to forget anything. Again, if you have any questions, if I may have missed anything, please let me know. Uh, that's why I have my social media linked and I would definitely love to get connected and communicate with you all. Uh, but definitely stay tuned. I have more videos coming for you aspiring FAs. Uh, we have more things to cover, some terminology. We have crash pads, how to save money, things like that. So definitely, definitely stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed and if you'd like to see more. Bye, everyone. To kiss the lips that send me in